Hello, hello everyone! Tommy Girl with you for a new Let's Play. This time it is Mist 3 Exile. We have Let's Played Mist, we have Let's Played Mist 2 Ribbon, and now it is time to Let's Play the third one. Now, I like this game a lot. It is the first game in our series, in the series here, where um, it was not actually made by Scion, no, also known as Scion Worlds nowadays. And uh, this, the reins were, were given over to Ubisoft and Presto Studios for this one. And uh, while this was this game was being developed, Scion Worlds was developing Mist Uru. Anyway, we're gonna get into the game, but uh, I'm gonna have a lot to say once we get in game about some of the history of the, the previous games and how it ties into this particular game. Because I don't feel like this game always makes it quite clear from the get go. So anyway, let's get started. I realized as our group linked back to Dunny that we should not restore the city as we had planned. The once magnificent buildings lay in ruin, a testament to the hatred that had consumed them. Too many people had fallen victim to that hate, to the prejudice and greed from which it sprang. Gazing out across the cavern, I decided to write another age, one that would help the Dunny survivors begin again, free from the tragedies of their past. So with my wife, Catherine, supporting me, I put aside that past to write a future. More than a year has gone by since I finished writing Relishan. I have a new daughter, who I hope will someday link to the age with me. And as I imagine Yisha meeting the Dunny, those brave men and women who are building a new life for themselves, I realize I've been given another chance as well. A chance to learn from my mistakes and leave the past behind me once and for all. Here we are. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yes, it is. We call it Tamana. We moved here after Atreus finished writing Relishan. He wanted us to have a new home, too. I'm so glad to see you. I told Atreus our paths would cross again. He was just going to grab something for your trip to Relishan, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Unless he decides to check over the whole house first, which means he could be hours resetting all his padlocks. But I know he was looking forward to introducing you to the Dunny, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Why don't you wait in his study? Alright, in case you couldn't tell, that is Catherine uh, from the previous games, Atris's wife. Um, played by a different actress in this, uh, this particular game. But her nonetheless, and she's holding their new child, Yisha, who plays a bigger role in some of the later games. Now this is what she called Tomana. Now you might wonder where exactly we are. Are we on some kind of um, new age? It turns out we're not in some crazy new age. We're actually on Earth. Uh, more specifically, in the United States, in the New Mexico area. I know, it's very surprising. Now this game actually takes place ten years after um, the events of Mist, uh, the sequel to Mist, Ribbon. Uh, Mist 1 and Mist 2 take place very close to each other, so I, you could say it's ten years after the events of both those things. Now you might wonder who we are in this game. The game doesn't make it very clear from the introduction. We are in fact playing uh, what is the strange, called the Stranger in Mist Lore in this game as well. So we are the same character as we were in Mist 1 and Mist 2. You know, this trip is exactly what Atreus needs right now. I haven't been able to get him out of the house for months, ever since he found his journals out of place. But seeing how well the Dunny have settled in on relation should help him to finally relax. Oh. So, in addition to telling us that Atreus has been a bit of a hermit, Catherine just reiterated what we learned in the introduction of this game. 
Atris has been working to restore the Dunny. Now, the Dunny was a civilization that actually Atris's father, Gen, was obsessed with restoring. Gen was one half Dunny, and therefore Atris is one quarter Dunny. But during the ten years between Riven and this game, Atris has made it his personal goal to, to find survivors and restore as much of the civilization as he can. And one interesting thing you find out, not really in this game, you actually find that out uh, in Mist Uru and some of the novels, is that Dunny is located in caverns on Earth. The Dunny civilization was actually under the Earth's surface at some point, in, in this general area where Tomana is. I'm sorry, the other door. Yeah, and that's what happens if you try to go through that door. Uh, so he came back here to Earth to try to restore the Dunny um, in, in the place where their civilization collapsed mm -hmm. and ultimately decided to write them a whole new age. And I can only figure that the, the stranger somehow met up with Atris during all this. We had, they had ten years to find each other. Um, the starfisher led to... Uh, where, around the area where the Dunny civilization fell, so it makes sense that uh, Atris would come and find the stranger at some point. Now, here is the Riven Linking book. You can see the symbol on the cover, and as you can see, ugh, it is collapsed. You can't link there even if you try. And uh, some things on the shelf. Now, Catherine did tell us a few bits of uh, useful information. I apologize, I was trying to get some of that um, backstory out first, but uh, she did tell us that Atris has been stressed out because his journals have been all, you know, askew and he's been worried about security. There is Catherine with baby Yisha. We can also take a look at this rock here. Apparently we are studying. Also, uh, we've been brought here. Uh, Atris wants to take us to see Relishan and all that. Um, one thing I failed to actually mention before, as you can see, we get a 360 view in this game. We, we can turn all, all the way around instead of these static pictures. Um, this is still full rendered 3D, they're just panoramic shots. So we can look out every which way. If we right click on the screen, we can actually move just the pointer. It's actually, oops, it's actually a system that works quite well in my opinion. And um, it really adds to the immersion, although there is a little bit of a getting used to period. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, it made me a little bit nauseous to get... Just, there's something about it that just disoriented me at first. Alright, so here's a letter on the, uh, on the t desk. Timon. Thank you for responding so quickly to my request for narrow padlocks. As you know, security in Tamana has become an important issue of late. Perhaps I'm overreacting. As Catherine suggests. But the idea that someone may have been sneaking into my study, reading all of my journals, disturbs me. After what happened to my library on Mist, after my own sons, Cirrus and Agonar, destroyed so many of my books, I've come to realize how delicate the link is to my worlds. I've never been able to repair those burned books, to link to each age and find out if the inhabitants survived. The padlocks won't change that situation but they should ease my fear of trespassers considerably. Sincerely, Atris. Alright, so once again, we are reiterating uh, Atris's fear, and Timon is actually a, a Dunny, um, one of the, the survivors of the fall of Dunny that Atris later found. Um, he's actually mentioned in uh, the Book of Dunny, the third missed book that was written. Um, so anyway, he's calling to him for increased security. And we do hit to hear about uh, Cirrus and Aknar a little bit, in case you didn't play the first Mist game. Cirrus and Aknar are um, Catherine and Atris's sons. They, uh, at one point, decided to uh, pillage and go through all of Atris's ages. They trapped Atris, they trapped Catherine, they became very greedy and decided to, to take all, all the ages' spoils for themselves. And um, as a result, they became trapped in prison books that Atris had set up for trespassers. And uh, when, uh, when Atris was later freed by us, in fact, Atris became angry and burned the books, which severed the links to his sons. So um, his sons are, as we know, currently trapped in some kind of nether void. Now here's a mural. This is actually um, 
going this is actually going uh, to look for survivors of Dunny, I believe. Um, seems to fit that really well. Um, as you can see, there's there's villages, and um, it's because what happened with the fall of Dunny is uh, some people were able to escape via linking books, and um, Atrus was able to find some of those survivors. Down here, we have. Um, Rebuilding it looks like um I pro oh this looks like um one of the main characters and I I, I apologize I cannot remember her name of the book of Dunny she went finding um probably dead people searching Dunny this is um the chemical that actually wiped out the civilization so um that was how uh, how somebody was able to to kill most of the Dunny so and as you can see this this is pretty much a mural of the people looking for survivors of Dunny. There's their linking over there. This is um, following a creature of some kind. So this kind of gives a. It's hard to tell. You know, you certainly couldn't tell if you didn't know anything, but it gives you an idea. So anyway, here is Atris uh, going into the caverns. This is uh, the destroyed civilization of Dunny um, underground here, and these are the people he's leading down there. And like I said, he did eventually decide not to rebuild the civilization there. Uh, pretty much because he decided that um, building a new civilization on old ruins would uh, would end up uh, causing old habits to resurface and was not productive in general. It was a little bit vague, actually, why he decided to do that, in my opinion. But um, he decided to write them a whole new age, to just have a fresh start. So anyway, here's... Um, people setting up camps and Atrus talking to the, his new students and Atrus went through all the old linking books to try to find um, any survivors so that's him pouring over those I'm pretty certain anyway that is uh, most of the things in here except uh, of course the very um, <laughs> on display book of release on here um, well my friend I see you found the Relishan book. Catherine Hello, Atrus. have been here for some time. Sorry if I've kept you waiting. That's Since fine. Since we'll be gone a few days, I need to secure some of my things. And I also wanted to bring you this. It's a journal I kept while I was writing Relishan. I thought you might find it interesting to read about what I'd hoped to achieve. Compared to what the age truly is. Well, just let me get my keys to unlock Relishan. I'll be off. Oh, and I'm interested right. in hearing what you've been up to in recent months. Hmm. Matrix. Let's go. Oh, at least this time we won't be by ourselves. Even if we come with us, we can solve things together. You know, it will be far less lonely this time. We get that beautiful flyby view. All right, after that guy, wait. Atrus isn't here. Well, hopefully he'll link after us soon. Oh, come back here, you thief! You're just one step behind him. Hey, hey, why'd you steal Atrus's book? It was so well protected in a glass case. Hey, no, that's not. Can we see him? Oh, hey! Can I knock on the... <laughs> hey! Crap. Oh, did Atrus link in? Atrus, old buddy, old pal. You're not gonna send us to do this again by ourselves, are you? Because that trend's getting rather old. No? Alright. Well, clearly you have to figure out how to get in there, but um, it seems like a pretty good spot to leave off. Now, what I would normally do at this point is I'd open the book and be like, guys, let's read Beatrice's journal. And I am going to do that. Um, I'm going to do that in a supplemental video, 
So you can either click uh, at the end of this video or the beginning of the next one, that's how I'm going to do it, if you are interested. But this is one of the f um, a few journals that isn't super important. Um, the basic ideas that you really need are bolded in this text, which is really handy, and you don't really need it until later in the game. So the game does a really good job of making you, you know, not forcing you to, to read that right away. It does give some backstory, though, and I find it interesting. So uh, feel free. I, I have the supplemental video linked below, and um, I'll also have an annotation if you are interested in that. But this seems like a really good spot to leave off. In the next episode, we will try to hunt down the thief, and um, maybe we'll be all lonely again. I don't know. All right. I'll see you guys next time.